Hey viewers, Jason, Journal Up Electrical Services. I'm just down in uh, Wallard, uh, adding a couple of circuits to the smart port on this uh, SIG Energy system. And I just thought I'd make a quick video here. Just the level of fuckery on these switchboards these days is, is next level. Um, if you're building a new home, guys, and you want to electrify everything, have a big, you know, battery stack and inverter and everything like this, get the biggest switchboard that you can with the bus bar system. So this does not have a bus bar system. It's all cables looping out of one another into circuit breakers. Uh, mains cables have been twitched together and taped up. Uh, everything is just bulging and ready to break. Um, see the holes into the switchboard haven't been sealed up. We've got cables that are undersized feeding circuit breakers. It's just an absolute mess. Try and get a bus bar system. This is the bus bar here. There are three different phases. Um, that's the SIG Energy backup gateway. So a bus bar system will have this type of scenario here, um, but on a domestic switchboard, it will run vertically up and down on the switchboard. Uh, so if you're building a new home, plan ahead guys, get a decent switchboard, Get, ask your builder to put one with a bus bar system in it with plenty of spare space um, because this this is bullshit. It's a nightmare to work on. Everything's just hanging in there. You got cables which have been stripped and been nicked. So they're not able to operate at their full capacity. They're popping out of circuit breakers. It's just a mess. Um, so yeah, get a bigger switchboard and um, it'll be happy days and hopefully you'll have less electrical call outs and problems. So now I'm trying to get the cover on. I'm wrestling with it. All the screws are stripped. All these, they're doing nothing. Circuit breakers are all twisted. Everything's under strain. We've got cables going in that are not secured or done properly. It's, it's just a mess. It's a mess. And this comes about because guys turn up to do a job such as install this switchboards almost at capacity. They're not gonna leave site and say you need a switchboard upgrade. They're just gonna make it happen no matter how they have to fucking do it. And this is the result, just absolute mess. This is not my install by the way.